Hi, I'm Colin. I'm the business development manager here at iLumi, and today I'm going to show you how to set up the IF channel for your iLumi smart bulbs. So the first thing we're going to do is open up the iLumi app, and you'll see that I have the office bulb paired there to my account already. And we'll swipe here at the top, go to the experiences page, and tap set up now. This will take you into the IFT app, so if you don't already have the IFT app downloaded from the iOS or Google Play Store, you'll want to go ahead and download that and create an account within the IFT app. So we'll take you to the iLumi channel here, where you'll click connect, and that'll redirect you to this login page where you will use your iLumi login information to log in here so that IFT knows to associate your iLumi account with this particular iLumi channel on IFT. So put in my username here. And the password as well. Now that I've got that there, I'll go ahead and log in. And this is where it'll take you back to the iLumi IFT page. So you can see that we've already got a list of some of the presets here. So you can do a lot of different stuff with iLumi and your uh, IFT connection, including things like controlling your lights with Amazon Alexa or Google Home. So we'll go ahead and set one of those up here. Turn off your lights with Google Assistant. Simply turn that on. It'll ask you for permission to access your Google Assistant account. We'll tap OK. And you'll see the iLumi tester account. I'll ask you for permission, you'll tap allow. And now you'll see this screen where it'll ask you uh, the phrase that you'd like to use to trigger this, uh, an alternate phrase, or even a uh, response phrase from the Google Assistant here. So we have something kind of clever, darkness shall fall upon you. Down here at the bottom, it'll ask you which of your iLumi you'd like to include. Uh, we'll tap, you can do all, or pick a specific group or a specific bulb. So this is the office bulb here. I'll just click office one. Tap done. And once you've entered all the information, you can choose whether or not to receive notification when the applet runs, and then tap save. So now we have that one created for the Google Assistant. Let's go ahead and create another one using Amazon Alexa. So we'll make this one from scratch. You can make your own applet. We'll do applet maker here. For the this trigger, we'll go ahead and tap this, and we'll find Amazon Alexa is already a pretty popular one here for if, so we'll tap that and say a specific phrase. And we'll go ahead and connect this. Just like the Google Assistant, it'll redirect you to a page where it asks for your login credentials for your Amazon account that you have your Amazon dot paired to. We have the dot in the Google Home right here. So after entering your credentials, you'll see this page here asking for permissions. You'll tap I agree. It'll take us back to the IFT app. So for this one, we'll do uh, triggering one of our favorites through the iLumi app. So we'll call the favorite red. As you can see here, it explains that when you're using the if channels with Alexa, you need to say trigger before the phrase that you use. So in this example here, it says Alexa trigger party time. You want to make sure you use trigger. It's not something that you have to do for Google Home, but it is something that you have to do for Amazon Echo devices. Call it red, tap next. Now that that portion is iLumi, so you can see that it already comes up as a suggestion here. You can also search for the service and we'll go ahead and tap on it. For this example, we'll do activate favorite. I've already got a couple favorites created in my iLumi app and we'll select red. 
and then tap next up here. It'll give you a preview and you can tap finish. And now we've made a new applet. So now you can view all of your applets by just going back to this screen here, tapping that shows you your Illumi channel and see all of your applets. You tap down here at the bottom, my applets. We've got one for Google Assistant that we just created and then we've got one here for Alexa. So now that we have our if channel set up, you'll see this down here and it'll show you a review of your history. We'll go back and we'll give this a quick little test. Okay, Google, turn off the lights. Darkness shall fall upon you. There we go. So now we'll test the Amazon trigger. Alexa, trigger red. Sending that to ift. And as you can see, that executed for both the Google Home and Amazon Echo Dot. And now if we go back into the Illumi app here and scroll all the way over to if channel, you can actually see a history of all the commands that you've sent um, to your different iLumi devices. So that's just kind of a short overview of how to use the iLumi if channel. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to us at support at iLumi.co. Thanks for watching.